what's up beauties and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute since y'all really seen the good girl on camera like that since i had the surgery but today we are back with a new video and today's hair is provided by xrs beauty hair so um this is my first time working with this company y'all but when i tell y'all like i love this wig i really love this wig like <laughs> it is the perfect beginner friendly wig like when i show y'all the hairline on this wig and i tell you you don't have to do nothing like you don't have to do nothing like the wig already comes with the knots pre-bleached and when i tell you they pluck this god dang on wig to the t oh my god y'all they plucked this wig to the t okay and i'm gonna show y'all exactly how i'm gonna look up plus um up close and personal so don't even worry i got y'all okay but you see everything that comes included in the box and they have the um little clip-in straight but you could clip in or you could take out but do y'all see that hairline and that lace okay so what they are calling this lace is the new clear undetectable lace so it's like it really like oh my god y'all like it's just so raw so before i get into the install i'm gonna do a quick demonstration on this new clear lace versus regular brown lace versus transparent lace and what i'm going to do is show you how this new clear lace blends so perfectly without even have to you know having to do too much so i'm going to do a quick demonstration by placing each of those uh, lace colors on the back of my arm and I'm just going to stick it down with a little of my Tresemme holding spray and also use a little bit of the foundation to show you the blend so for starters we're gonna go ahead and start off by spraying the um, transparent lace onto the skin um, well onto my hand and then what, what the heck did I just say y'all I took the holding spray spread it on my hand and then placed that transparent lace onto my hand and as you can see even if you uh you know put it into place and you put the foundation it is still very noticeable you will have to do multiple coats of foundation to really get that transparent lace to blend and here i did the same thing with that brown lace i sprayed that trust me holding spray applied it to my skin and as you can see the dark the brown lace was just a little darker than my arm tone so that means it was definitely going to be darker for my hairline but when i took this clear lace and i applied the foundation onto my skin and i really stepped back do you see how blended that clear lace was like you couldn't even see it when i placed my arm at a distance you can clearly see the other two laces but you could not see that clear lace okay and do y'all see the hairline on this wig i put that wig right onto my mannequin head and i tell y'all i did not do anything no plucking no bleaching no knots like this wig came plucked to the t like this is literally the best hairline that i've seen a wig come with and i had a nice you know a couple of nice wigs come with really nice hairlines but this by far is my top favorite and even though this is a straight wig when i tell y'all the it holds curls so bomb like i still have this wig in my hair right now and i have not curled it since that uh second day of doing my install and i still have curls like still have curls in my head it's so crazy because usually it's hard to find straight wigs that hold curls so good but this wig right here is literally like the bomb like no cap y'all but what i'm going to do today is a little bit different y'all know usually i install my wig and then i go ahead and style it but today what i decided to do was style my wig first and then install it simply because i want to do like um body curls and it's really hard to curl um your hair on yourself once you apply the wig then you know i like apply the wig first then curl it so i decided to just go ahead and style the wig on the mannequin and then i will be able to install it and just you know comb everything through and fluff the curls out and everything so for starters i'm just creating me a nice curved part and i'm taking the wax stick and applying it around the parting area and i'm just going to hot comb those roots out pretty nice and um flat that way um once i put my wig on my head i don't have to do much but just comb the curls into place and add some layers so i'm just going to take that hot comb use that wax stick and get uh the top of my wig in that parting area really nice and sleek
So now that I have that all nice, flat, and sleek, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my mannequin to the back and just curl up this wig. Before I curl this wig up, I am just gonna take a little heat protectant and just spray it onto the wig, and then I will be using my Babyliss um, Curling Iron to curl the hair up. Um, I'm not pin curling the hair, I'm just gonna only pin the front up, because I actually curled this wig up at night, and I did not install my wig until the next day. Um, that night so when I tell y'all this wig holds curls like it holds curls like to the T like I did not pin it up and I came back you know what I'm saying 24 hours later and the curls were still in place they ain't even dropped not even a piece do you hear me so it's like when I tell y'all this wig hold curl y'all this wig holds some goddamn gonna curls okay so I just went in with my Babyliss um iron and it's like a flat iron and a, and a curling iron at the same time. It's really, really dope. I love it. It's one of my favorite uh, hot tools. Because I usually buy like curling irons or I use the stove Marcel. But, you know, this tool right here is just bomb. Like, I love it. So, um, I have bought it from my local beauty supply hair store. Um, I don't really know what it's called. I was just so happy to open a dang on box and just get to using it. But if you recognize this and you've seen this, please purchase it and be mindful. It gets hot all around on a silver plate. So make sure you keep your hands on the blue little thumb part because you will burn your fingers. Okay, y'all? Because when it heats up, it heats up all around. But nevertheless, I'm just going to curl all the hair um, coming away from the face on both sides. So... I'm just going to go ahead and just get everything curled up. So I'm going to show y'all how I curled everything on like my bang side. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just let it, you know, um, switch over to the other side of the wig being complete because it's just repetition.
As you can see, I'm just curling, curling, curling away from the face, just grabbing pieces, you know, a little at a time and just curling that hair backwards and just letting it drop as is. Don't finger comb it out. Don't, you know, do nothing. Just curl it, drop it and leave it alone. I am going to add some holding spray once I am done curling the whole wig, but that will be after I complete, you know, the other side. And that's when I'll add a little tresemme to the curls. But um, once I finish curling this front piece up, like I said, I will do the other side pretty much off camera. But then I'll just go in and show y'all how I added the holding spray and how I clipped up the front. That way it will be easy for me to install it on the next day. So, um, as I mentioned, I just curled the other side going away from the face as well. So now I am done uh, curling everything up. So what I'm going to do now 
it's just, you know, take a little of my wax stick again and just hot comb the top part, just making sure everything is nice and smooth together. But this is what the wig looks like all around after being curled. And then I'm gonna take some Tresemme holding spray and spray it on the top, on the top of the wig and also home co you know, hot comb that in just a little bit as well. And then um, pin curl the, the front piece. That way I can install my wig and it's not in my way. Okay, y'all, so here it is the next day. I just did a quick little beat, you know what I'm saying? Sound looks so, ugh, on camera, you know? And I'm back again, once again, in the fall hall, because I have to wear this thing 23 hours a day, y'all. It's so aggravating. Tell me about it. If you know, you know. If you don't, trust me, you don't want to know. It's very aggravating. But, however, I'm going to go ahead and get into installing this wig. I'm just going to go ahead and clean my hairline real quick with some of that 99% alcohol, a.k.a. Oh, I forgot y'all know I changed the name, the brand name. I was about to say the Beautiful Hustler brand, but the BH Slay brand. <laughs> um, 99% alcohol, aka lace prep, and just clean that hairline up really good because, you know, you got to get rid of all that makeup oil and dirt residue before you apply your wig. And then I'm going to go in with our skin protector, just spray my hairline real quick. Blow dry that thing on a little heat. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my ball cap by pulling my cap down, cutting my ear tabs out, and adding one layer of my glue and spraying some Tresemme on top of that, that cap and just blow drying that into place. So what I'm going to do before actually cutting the cap is I'm just going to go ahead and take the foundation and apply it on the front of the hairline. Um, you could do this if you don't want to have to worry about probably cleaning your hairline again because sometimes makeup do get on the hairline again once you cut the cap first and add the foundation. 
So I just, you know, did it first. You don't have to, but if you just want to, you can add that foundation first and then cut the cap off. But I ended up going back in anyways with makeup like on the edge because I felt like once I put put my wig on I could still see the cap underneath so I just added more foundation to the edge of the cap and I really didn't you know use as much glue as I normally would do my bar cap I just kept it real 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 thin like honestly I ain't even spread it out that good and that's really why my bar cap method is not the best right now but I knew this was just going to be like a two layer install it wasn't going to be like in for too too long but then again I was wrong because the wig is still on my head y'all like I said but <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and place the wig on my head. And I just want y'all to see how this got dang on hairline. Look, do y'all see? When I tell y'all they did the hell out of this wig, like I've never had a wig that was plucked to the T like this, and like the lace was just bomb as hell. Like I, I don't have some bomb wigs, nice hairlines, but the way they plucked this god dang on wig and the way they constructed it like when i tell y'all it is so beginner friendly and honestly i wish i had a big forehead like let me tell y'all the advantages people have with bigger foreheads like you see all that pre-plucked hairline if my forehead was bigger i would have kept that whole hairline on the wig and just cut off the extra lace wherever the hairline was but if you team itty bitty forehead like me you know most of that pre-plucked part gets cut off but, I mean, it still does look natural, but I just feel like if I would have had a bigger forehead, baby, I would have kept all that hairline. And it would just gave, like, them bomb results, period. But, nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and, you know, add some foundation to the inside of that lace. And we're going to take, of course, the beautiful Hustler, you know, lace mini heat stuff. And I was thinking about how many layers I want to do. And I think I did two or three layers with this install maybe three maybe three maybe two i'm not sure but i just applied one layer well one side of glue on my head at a time and then i just you know once i got all my layers applied down then i just went ahead and began to tack down my wig So now that I went ahead and applied my layers or whatever, I'm just going to go ahead and lay my lace down. Now, I hate the way it looks on camera. It looks like it's still kind of white, but in person or like when I look in the mirror, it's not. So, you know how sometimes the ring light and all that give you like weird undertones and y'all know how that stuff be, you know, especially my, um, my, my other influencers that record videos. Y'all know sometimes what you see in person and what you see on camera be different but it's just like whatever at the end of the day we still gonna get this wig laid so i still went ahead and placed my glue and i'm just taking a comb and applying pressure to that hairline just pushing that lace right into that glue and like i said y'all i wish i was able to keep all that lace on my head but then my wig would have been too far down Ugh, i was so irritated but however i still took the blow dryer and i just added some heat to the hairline and once i finish blow drying this lace on in for a couple seconds i am going to take the melt belt and tie it on the lace
And after letting that melt bell sit for 10 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And I'm gonna begin to raise it off the extra lace. Oh man, I just love that hairline. It's just so freaking pretty, but it, most of it has to go. So unfortunate. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the extra lace from around my ears. And then I'm gonna go in with the lace glider, of course and get to razoring off that hairline do y'all see how much hair i had to pull down like that wasn't glued down or that was you know too too far past my hairline like that was a lot of pre plugs bomb behind hair but it is what it is you gotta do what you gotta do to get the best results but i'm just going in with a brand new fresh lace glider and i'm just going to razor off all that extra lace and if i have any little pieces like right here in the corner that's still left up that i missed when applying on my layers i will go ahead and you know add glue to those places So now I'm going to go ahead and begin to raise off the other side. But first I'm going to cut the extra lace from around the ear because I didn't do it. So I'm going to do that first and then I'm going to go in and raise it off the extra of the lace and then tack down whatever I need to on the edge on this side as well. So once I go ahead and get um, this side tacked down, I'm going to add more foundation to my hairline and then, um, you know, add a little Tresemme holding spray and then um, tie it down again with that melt belt. And while that melt belt is sitting on my hairline, I will go ahead and begin to comb out the curls and to add layers into the hair. And y'all see how I say, even though I had to cut most of the pre-plucked part off, it still give a natural result. Um, so yeah, but I said if like I said, if you got a, a bigger forehead, y'all is really gonna enjoy the hell out this hairline because baby, that hairline was bomb.com. But you know, it's still giving, it's still giving or whatever, it's still giving natural hairline tees or whatever. And I didn't do no baby hairs, I just didn't want to do any baby hairs. I think baby hair still would have been cute with the style, but I decided to just go for the um, natural hairline so now that I have that lace tacked down like I said I'm going to add that extra foundation uh, spray the hairline with Tresemme holding spray and then tie down that melt belt and get to cutting a little layers in the front of this wig
So I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I went ahead and removed those, those pins and now I'm just adding a little wax to the top once again. Um, since I had, you know, actually styled the wig and just hot comb and smooth the top out just a little bit before I go to, you know, combing the curls out and adding uh, those layers to the front. I just wanna make sure it's nice and sleek all around, you know, that parting area. But once I'm done hot combing that little piece there, like I mentioned, I will go ahead and finger comb out those curls. And then I'm gonna actually use my lace glider to just cut some light layers at the top. Um, just more so for the face area so I can kind of frame the face some. So I would just go in, um, you know, with that lace glider and then I would cut those layers. But for now, I'm just going to conceal that part up a little bit. My line was a little crooky, but once I step back, you can't really tell. But so now it's time to finger comb those curls. Finger comb, finger comb, finger comb, finger comb. And then that's when I'm going to go in with that lace glider, like I mentioned, add some layers. And I'm just going to cut at like a diagonal um angle so i just started lower first and i'm just gonna keep finger combing and then cutting more and more uh layer into it i'm starting long then working my way up because you know you don't want to cut too much off and then it's all chopped off and you can't get it back so if you want to just add just a little layer to the top go lower first and then work your way up and i'm going to do the same thing for this side here uh, I'm going to cut more on this side because I want to have like a little layered bang. Not um, like a really a long bang, but more of a bang that's higher up and then it works its way down and have some layers. So I'm going to finger comb through this side a few times and pull the hair, cut some more, cut some more, cut some more. And you guys will see the finished look once I actually um, remove that melt belt and swoop it how I want to in the face and I'm just going to um, go in with my fabulous iron once again and curl it up some more so now that it's done I'm just going to go ahead and remove that melt belt and get ooh okay natural tease natural hairline fresh out the scalp look period so now I'm going to go ahead and like I mentioned um, remove that melt belt and um what I was gonna say frame the bang to be more in my face like how I want it so I'm gonna play with that bang pull it forward you know what I'm saying finger combing some more I cut the lay I brought the layers higher so I could have this exact look right here like I miss that big you know like swooped layer cut bang like it be so so pretty I love when it like swoop down on the face some of y'all be like girl you ain't gonna be able to see girl I'd rather <laughs> I don't want to say I'd rather be blind but y'all get the vibes and this is the finishing look right here y'all super super pretty um i hope y'all enjoyed this video thank y'all for watching and i will see you guys next time